Many simple tricks can deceive the eye and seem impossible at first glance, but it is due to the very explanation given by physics that causes all these to happen. Now, we'll do a simple experiment. Start by connecting the forks together. It is important that both of them weigh about the same weight. Following that, work the toothpick into the tines of the fork. Set the toothpick on the rim of the glass and slide until the best balance point is found. Both handles will be curving downward below the rim of the glass and the toothpick will be almost horizontal. Use a lighter and burn the end of the toothpick hanging over the side of the glass. The toothpick will burn down to the very edge of the glass but the utensils will not fall. Many of you have probably seen this simple trick before, but underlying this so-called magic trick is the simple principle of physics, center of gravity. The center of gravity of an object is the balance point around which there are equal moment arms of length times weight. The object can act as if all its weight was concentrated at the center of gravity. It is where the utensils balance front and back left and right, up and down, hence it's able to maintain at a fixed position without falling. The fox and the toothpick are connected to form a single object. The object's center of gravity is shifted due to the different objects that make up its component. The two fox and the toothpick which in them are rigid. For a rigid object to balance at a single point, the center of mass of the body must lie directly below that point. Each fox handle is heavy enough to make its center of gravity extend slightly below the point where the toothpick touches the glass on the y-axis to balance with the toothpick's center of gravity. The fox are placed symmetrically to have the joint center of gravity fall precisely on the same point on the x-axis. A tight rope or high wire walker often use a stick for balancing in the same way as the fox are used in this experiment. The resulting overall center of gravity is straight down from the point where the toothpick sits on the rim of the glass, which is the pivot point. Looking closely at the balancing utensils, the handles are curved well below the toothpick. These move the center of gravity directly below the point where the toothpick touches the rim. Burning the end of the toothpick, the utensils can still remain balanced. Why didn't the fire keep burning and cause a collapse? Well, fire requires three things heat, fuel, and oxygen. The fire will not be able to sustain itself without any of the above. In the experiment, the fuel and oxygen were still there, but the heat is removed. The glass conducts the heat away from the flame and it dies. Objects in this experiment are not defying any laws of physics more than someone sitting on a chair. It is merely a trick of the eye that can be explained using physics. The concept of the center of gravity can also be applied to many things in real life, such as a tight rope walker, a seesaw, or a simple tumbler toy, showing that physics is all around us. Thank you.